I'm Kani Reza and welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. I am going to uh, demonstrate the, the final lesson on a unit on insects. This has been a two weeks unit and it's for early childhood children. And you have probably noticed that there is a wealth of vocabulary. And of course, higher order thinking is one of, one of the highlights. Now, how do we start a science lesson through our novelty? Remember, we do the same novelty the whole week or the whole two weeks. So what is this? It is a, an ant. You're right, it's an ant. And an ant is what? It's an insect. Now, how, does the, how was the ant born? From what? From an egg. So, of course, continue to review this whole chart review as much as you can about insects but of course make it let the children interact let them tell you about what they've learned this week and let them read all these words by now i guarantee you most of them will be reading most of these words and they will be so excited now let me state my specific objective today today after our review we are going to make an edible insect which is the most exciting and children enjoy cooking. They love to construct, they love to eat what they make. So let me put my uh, novelty away. Also another activity that we have, we have done this week, we did a little headband that they can just make the first day or the second day and they wear it throughout the week. So today they're gonna get to wear that little headband while they do their cooking activity. So this is just a thin strip I put the insects and remember with every activity that we do there has to be writing so they put their little insect here and then they wrote and of course they added the little antennas so this is a great headband for them to wear while they're studying insects uh, for this edible activity you're gonna need pretzels and of course the instructions are in the ebook and uh, the specifics are also in the ebook so that you're going to need pretzels, the long pretzels. So every student will get a plate. And then I'm just going to get a grab of, I'm just going to grab pretzels. I'm not going to count. I'm just going to grab them and lay them on their plate. And every child will get a plate. Every child will make their edible insect. And then, of course, I'm just going to put a few of this uh, chocolate. These are chocolate with uh, little sprinkles. And the reason that I use the little sprinkles is because I want them to understand that the eyes of the insect are, some of the insects are compound eyes. And with the little sprinkles, it's like, it's like demonstrating compound eyes. So I'm just going to put a few there too. I'm going to use string candy, which I'm just going to put one for the children. And guess what? Giant marshmallows so i'm just gonna put a few giant marshmallows there in front of their plate and i'm gonna tell them okay you have all these edible snacks i want you to construct an insect show me how you're gonna construct your insect using this i'm not gonna tell them use this for the eyes use this for the legs use this for the antennas i'm not gonna say that i'm just gonna say Use what you have in front of you to construct an insect. So I'm going to let them put their insect together. They can bring it, to, they can put the three together, insert the pretzels onto the body, and just stick them in there. This is also an excellent uh, assessment because if children tend to put the legs on the abdomen instead of the thorax and say here's the head here's the uh, thorax and here's the abdomen you know that the children are still not at the level to comprehend and understand this but if children do put their the legs onto the thorax you know that the children understood it and then of course the antennas they can use this for the antennas and of course they put this for the eyes, which is very interesting to see the children constructing it and putting it together. Uh, let me show you one that I 
I have already done to, to show you how we put it together. Here's the antennas. And of course, we learned this week, the antennas are used for many, many purposes. And also, they're, they're, uh, they also have like a, like a straw where they suck up some of the juice out of the plants or out of the, out of the flowers. So they can also use this for that. Now, if children want to use this for the legs, that is fine. If they want to use this for the antennas, let them describe and tell you how they constructed their insect and what each part is. Excellent tool for assessment where they can actually construct their own. Now, as a final, after children are sitting there, now they have finished their little insect. Now, let's pretend they were bugs. Have the children make some bug eyes. These are made from uh, uh, egg cartons. And uh, they can put them on while they're eating their little insect. Okay? And they, the children love to construct these little bug eyes. So they can, it's a follow-up from their little uh, uh, snack, edible insect. Now, while the children are sitting there enjoying their, eating their insect, if you want, if you wish for them to eat it now, or maybe they can even eat wash, one marshmallow instead of, uh, instead of eating the whole insect. They can eat one marshmallow. While they're sitting there, I'm going to read this book. A Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carle. I would highly recommend a great literature book, a great story for, the, for you to read to conclude our study on insects. And this little book is about a firefly. So after we read the story, my question would be to the children, what was the firefly looking for? What did she find along the way? Also, how many parts does a firefly have? Three body parts. Can you see the legs? How many legs does it have? So you do a lot of reviewing of insects through this little book. And also, they had not seen fireflies. And of course, at the, end, the, the, the cute thing about this one, right, at the end, you see the little lights uh, twinkling. So introduce as much, as much literature as you can Introduce as many insects as you can during the study of insects and expose the children to all the literature that's around. Don't limit one book for one day. Do two or three, four or five books a day. Even if you have to repeat a story the second day, repeat a book the next day, that is fine. Children enjoy looking at stories and books. You, you as a teacher are the one that are introducing the world of literacy to the children. And of course, let's go into technology. What would be a great word for them to research today? Wouldn't it be firefly? They have not seen firefly. This is the, probably the first time that they, that they saw the word firefly and now they see they were introduced to another new insect today through our literacy. So they can research to see all about the firefly. And you know what? You've opened the world outside of the children. You've introduced every content area through our unit on insects. And um, you have allowed them to explore and to use their higher order thinking skills. So can you see why children will be reading? They will be comprehending and their whole mind will be expanding through the study of science. I enjoy doing science. My science was, was very, very enjoyable because I introduced a lot of the content areas. And finally, at the end, I allow the children to share one thing they, they enjoy doing these last two weeks on the study of the insects. Share one thing that you enjoyed doing this week or learning about these last two weeks. They can go as far as to the very beginning, learning the characteristics of insects, or they can just, maybe, they, maybe it's an insect that they got to eat. Whatever it is, but let children share and uh, share with the group and converse. This concludes our whole unit on the study of insects. 
I hope you enjoy teaching insects to your students and continue to expand on it. Thank you.